It's a great, uh, I'd call it, I guess, the great fundamental evangelical teachings uh, and doctrines of the Bible, the fundamental uh, personal appearance of Jesus and the physical death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and uh, return, and so forth. I uh, just teach those things, divine healing, and so forth, which all of us full gospel people surely agree upon that. And uh, I want you, to, brethren, to know that... Uh, the tapes that I teach in my own church got out among you and so forth are among your congregations uh, and I have my own convictions and, and of course now to back down on my convention, uh, convictions I wouldn't do it because Amen. I'd be a hypocrite Amen. Thing. Right. Amen. I, I'd be a hypocrite Amen. to do that so I, I do believe what I taught on the tapes I believe every word Amen. Of it. I would right. not uh, feed the people the wrong thing yes. and if I'm wrong and I I pray that God will forgive me for it because it's the best of my understanding. And so, uh, but to invite me here and to have this ministerial fine group of ministers sitting here this morning, godly man, and uh, I uh, was at a, a gracious brother not long ago, and sisters, uh, excuse me, I was uh, at a Phoenix and a most glorious meeting with a precious brother who I love and he called me to his room he was deeply sincere and he said Brother Branham he said you know I love you and I said thank you my brother I certainly love you and he said you know we feel like that your ministry has kind of been a great cream of the crop I said oh don't say that I said it's I don't that's not right I said I just Followed the Lord, and you've done the same. So we're all, I said, look, I've blessed you beyond what he ever has me and the great things that he's given you. I said, he never done those things to me. And I said, you have to take lots of money. And, and I never did take up money because I guess he would, you know, he, maybe he couldn't trust me with it. See? And I said, I, another thing, I said, my little ministry, I couldn't go to little bitty places like just recently held a meeting where I only held 20 people. But the Lord led me there. And I, I want to go where he leads me. I don't need money, see. And I, I just want to go wherever I feel led to go. And the other day, even in the midst of all this trouble, I looked over our books, and there's 300 or better major cities in the United States calling for me to come to them, So besides the foreign fields. So I was. Um, this brother said, well, here's what I want to tell you, Brother Branham. He said, you, you are... You're too radical. I said, well, I'm an Irishman by, by birth, of first birth, <laughs> a Jew by second. And I said, anyway, I said, then, you know, they mix that together. I said, I'll tell what you would have. And I said, maybe I'm, I said, I, I am just actually a radical, I guess. It's just my nature to be that way. I just go wholehearted. When I think anything's right, I just sell out everything I got to it, you see. I said, that's the way it was of Christ to me. And I, my people before me, back with Catholic, and I said, from Ireland, all come from Dublin. And I said, then they, <clears throat> that I heard about when I was a little boy, the things that happened, and there was a call in my life. And then the Catholics said, we are the church, and shuts the rest of them out. And I go to Luther, and they said, we are the church, and shuts all the rest of them out. And I said, about... Six, seven hundred, maybe nine hundred different denominations. How are we going to know what's right? So I just got to the Bible. I just stay with the way I read it and just keep it like that. And he said, well, here's one thing. He said, you're always hammering at them women. He said, I said, I am jealous of them. And he said, you tell them how they must dress and all about they're too sexy and and they shouldn't wear those clothes and those shorts and quit cutting their hair and all Amen. these other things you Amen. said. said you hammer at that. He said, well, I said, that's in the Scripture. Amen. So he, Amen. Said, uh, he said, well, I know it too. I said, don't you believe that being a Pentecostal minister? He said, yes. But said, Brother Branham, he said, the people believe you to be a prophet. I said, no, I'm not. He said, but they believe you that way. He said, and you should be teaching those women how to receive great spiritual gifts and things like that. And said, then, then it, it, the church would be better off. I said, brother, he said, if you're deeper with God, teach the people deeper with God. I said, how can I teach them algebra when they won't even listen to their ABCs? Amen. I said, Hallelujah. I said, huh? I said, we so that's 
just about, uh, he said, well, Brother Branham, can I um, do something for you? He said, I believe if you would just leave that off and just go ahead and pray for the sick and, I, and, and let it go. God called you to pray for the sick. I said, that is true. He said, then just leave it go at that. So you just leave it go and pray for the sick. I said, but what about this other? He said, I don't believe that either. But said, you know what? If I t- said something like that, why well, I said they would this, that. I said, there you are. <laughs> there you are. See, I said, if we don't stand for it, then who's going to? Amen. See, this generation's got to be judged. Yes. And I said, and it's got to come from somewhere. He said, well, I'll tell you what I do. Will you permit me to lay my hands upon you and pray that God will open your eyes to truth? I said, I will under one condition if you let me return the compliment. <laughs> I said, very well. So we prayed for one another. <laughs> I hope it helps me a whole lot. No, I certainly do. I hope, it, I hope his prayer helps me because I, if, I, 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 I want to be helped. I'm here for that purpose. Now, it's just now 25 minutes until your service starts. But... Let me just read one word out of the Bible here and just talk or give a testimony and then we will go. Matthew 5, 8. Um, let's see. I believe I'll read more than that. <laughs> I've got something else I want to read. Amen. It just comes on my mind if I can find it now. Just where it was at. If I believe I can, I'm not too sure of it. I've got to... to uh, Read something here out of St. John. Yes, I want to read it from here. St. John, the sixth chapter. Let's begin about about the sixth chapter and the thirty-sixth verse. But I said unto you that you also have seen me and believe not. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. For I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which has sent me, that of all which has, he has given me, I should not lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son and believeth on him, may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. Jesus, pardon me, the Jews then murmured at him because he said, I am the bread which come down from heaven. And they said, Is not this Jesus the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it then that he saith, I come down from heaven? Jesus therefore answered and said unto them, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except my Father, which hath sent me, draws him, and I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Every man, therefore, that has heard and has learned of the Father cometh to me. Not that any man has seen the Father, save he which is of God, he has seen the Father. Verily, I say, verily, verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me has everlasting life. I am the bread of life. I was just thinking while I was sitting here at the table in my little context of a text that I had wrote out there, letting off steam. I thought this morning, what causes people to drive? I uh, I got a friend uh, here that's come all the way from Texas and across the country. I got friends sitting here from Canada. And we got friends uh, from all around in this little group of people this morning. Some of us are ministers, some are workmen, housewives, and so forth. And what is the purpose?